Hi there, so in this video I'm going to talk about the ring binder and traverse notebook sizes and which size you should select when you're creating a template. So on Planify Pro you see that under sizes there are two options, ring binder disbound and traverse notebook. And we will only be discussing these two sizes and not the Amazon KDP. If you're interested in knowing what the Amazon KDP is, then I recommend you to check on YouTube about Amazon KDP and how you can sell books on Amazon. But in this video, we're going to talk about the ring binder and Traveler's Notebook. So ring planners are planner binders with a ring inside where you can hole punch the inserts and then add them to your planner. And this is how they look like. They come in different sizes such as A5, A6, personal size, personal white size, pocket sizes. And I can show you here. Um, these are the main sizes they come in. And just as a reference, here I have listed the A4 and the US letter size. So if you are in the United States, you're familiar with the US letter size, which is 11 by 8.5 inches big. And if you're in Europe or Asia, you're most familiar with the A4 size, which is 11 0.7 times 8.3 inches big. And if you compare both pages, you see that the A4 is a bit taller uh, but also a bit more narrow than the letter size, but they are very similar in size. And then there is the A5 size, which the A5 size is half the size of this A4 size. So let me rotate this A5 paper size. And you see that it is half the size of an A4 size. So whenever you're creating a planner, which is A5 size, and you're exporting it and printing it on A4 paper, you can always export a, a planner that is double pages like this. So you can print two pages at a time on an A4 size paper. This, however, doesn't apply to the US size. Um, because the US size isn't tall enough to fit two A5 pages. So I will show you here. Let's say you have, an, you have two A5 pages and you want to print them both on US letter size, this won't fit. So the US letter size isn't tall enough to fit both A5 pages. So in case you're creating an A5 page and you want to export it and print it at home on US letter size for your A5 ring binder, you will always have to export it as a single page. This is what you will see on your end. In compared to if you're printing it on A4 page, you will be able to have two A5 sizes next to each other like this. Then let's check out the A6 size. So A6 size is also a very popular size um, for ring binders. And the A6 size is half the A5 size. So let me rotate the A6 size and you see that it actually is half the size of an A5 paper, which means that you theoretically could export um, four, A6 four A6 pages on one A4 page like this. And then you will have six which fits on one A4 paper. So this is the A6 size. And then another very common size for the ring binders is the pocket size. So the pocket size is very small. So whenever you finish creating a pocket size and you're exporting the pocket size, you can always export it to have four on one page because the A4 and the US letter size are big enough to fit four of them on one page, like you see here. Then the last size is the personal size, which also is a very common ring binder size. It is a bit taller than the A6 size, but it is much more narrow. And the personal size can be exported um, horizontally. So let me show you. You can export it horizontally and you can actually fit two personal size pages on one A4 sheet or on one US letter size sheet like this. Um, three won't fit. Um, you won't fit three of them, so this will be very hard for a printer to print out correctly, but two will be fine. So these were the ring binders. Again, here you see a recap on the sizes. This image was taken from vendorful.com. And then you see that the A5 size is the most common um, ring planner size, which is bigger compared to the other ones. 
and then you see the next one will be the personal size then the personal white size is a tiny bit wider than the personal size then there is the A6 and the pocket size then on the website you also see that there are traveler's notebook sizes so let me quickly explain you um, what those are so here I have a few images from Google and you see that uh, traveler's notebook sizes are actually notebooks you insert into your planner and it will look something like this so all traveler's notebooks or TN binders have a string in the middle and in this string you insert your notebooks into it so what you can do on Planify Pro, you can select the Traveler's Notebook size and the size will look like this where you have a left and a right page. So you work on both pages and then it will export you this, this double page where you can fold the insert in the middle. And after you fold it in the middle, you can insert it into the string of your TN planner like this. So this is what the TN notebook sizes are. And now I will compare both sizes for you so you can see for yourself. So here I have um, the A5 size selected and you see that here is a gap in the middle um, to hole punch the inserts for the left and the right page. However, when I now select the traveler's notebook size and I select the A5 traveler's notebook size, you see that um, suddenly this gap in the middle disappeared and there also is no cut lines for in the middle. So this means that here for the TN size you will export this entire page and you will fold it here in the middle to later insert it into your um, TN notebook like this. The ring binder has a gap in the middle to hole punch it and the traveler's notebook doesn't have a gap at all. So these are the main differences between Traveler's Notebooks and Ring Binders. Now let me quickly touch on double pages and single pages. So as explained before, whenever you're creating a planner, it will always ask you if you want to export it to be printed on A4 paper or US letter size paper. And depending on the size you have selected for your template, it will either export it for you double pages to fit more on one sheet of paper so you can save on paper or it will export it to you in single pages if it can not fit two pages on one sheet of paper. If you're printing the planner on A5 paper, however, it will always export it to you single pages. So you will always receive only one single page like this which can be printed directly on A5 paper. So what you will receive is not, is not something that looks like this, but you will actually receive a PDF that is just the A5 size. So basically you will receive a file that looks like this one here. Now in cases where you create pocket sizes, so I just resize the template into the pocket size, if you go to export and you select a paper size you're printing the planner on, you will have an additional option to have it uh, quadruple. So by selecting quadruple, you will tell the system that yes, you want to have four pages at a time. Now, if you're a seller and you're selling the templates and you're targeting the planner community where most have either a ring binder or a TN notebook, then I recommend you to stick to these um, four sizes, which are the A5, A6, pocket, personal, and personal white size. And additionally to that, I also recommend you to create a US letter size version and an A4 version. So you can actually take my shop as an example, which is called Printable for Planners on Etsy. And most sizes I sell are only personal white, personal size, pocket A6 and the A5 size. I usually don't sell bigger sizes such as the A4 or A or US letter size. However, um, this US letter size still gets requested a lot. So if you can just include um, the US letter size as well. And since you already are creating the US letter size, you can also just include an A4 size as well, since resizing is just one click. So quickly recap, if you're selling planners on Etsy and you're targeting the ring planner community, I would recommend to have all those um, four or five sizes in your shop included. 
I personally don't sell the pocket size, but if you include the pocket size in your shop, then that is perfect. And then if you also have a four or US letter size included, then that is an extra bonus for you and your customers. If you have any questions to all the sizes, please message me on Instagram or Facebook, and I will try to respond to your questions as quickly as I can. Thank you. Bye.